Maureen, yes. what are we doing here today? Um, we're promoting the uh, Manhattan Vintage Clothing Show, which is a vintage show that happens three times a year. And this particular show, we're um, highlighting uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which we have the t-shirts, uh, vintage t-shirts, uh, from different people who have entered the Hall of Fame. Amazing, and those are behind us right now. Yes, and they're from uh, different vendors who are at the show. Uh, Spark Pretty is uh, one, one of the vendors. I'm in your clothing. You are in some Spark Pretty and you are rocking it. You've, we've got this amazing 90s original Selena uh, shirt. So these are really hard to find and Selena t-shirts are like cult phenomena. So we have a cool Selena shirt and on top, Meg, the MTV, the MTV jacket, Headbangers Ball, the TV show from MTV, I don't know if anyone remembers that, from the 90s. Kurt Cobain was on it, Alice Cooper, all the cool like metal bands and grunge bands. So, who were your favorite rock and roll icons? Well, Courtney Love is my queen forever. Today I'm wearing an Iron Maiden shirt because I love Iron Maiden. Let's uh, see the back, let's see the back. Look how good it's shredded to perfection. And that's what you want in a rock and roll t-shirt. You want it to be worn in, distressed, falling apart, edgy. Megan's got it going on. Okay. And girls, what are you guys up to nowadays? Well, we always sell online at sparkpretty.com and we'll be doing another 90s Forever pop-up shop coming very soon. Girls, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to see you. Group hug, rock and roll. Another man's treasures, Mika. Tell me, what am I wearing? You are wearing a vintage Fleetwood Mac 70s t-shirt, um, and we have a fun 1960s uh, marabou feather jacket. I feel so rock and roll. You look so rock and roll. You look amazing. So, what are you wearing? Because this is very rock too. Yes, I am wearing a, I believe it was a 77 the dates on here somewhere. I'm wearing a 1970s Rolling Stones t-shirt and then I have a vintage, um, it's actually a Navajo blanket which has been turned into a jacket. Um, some 1970s pants and some 1970s gold glitter platforms. I love the platform. Thank you. So tell me about the rock and roll that's going on on your stand today. Okay, well today we brought some uh, vintage rock t-shirts over here. It is, it does seem like you're getting ready for the festival season. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think vintage is a great way to get the festival look and just a great summer, you know, new, very New York cool classic. And some of your t-shirts are actually on display as well. Yes, actually some, some that are for sale, some that are going to be for sale online on the Manhattan Vintage Show website. We also have some of our personal uh, rock t-shirts up there. Um, one of my Velvet Underground t-shirts, which is one of my favorites, and a New York Dolls t-shirt. Um, that was, you know, you might have seen on, on their Instagram. Um, yeah, so, so we're wearing history right now. We are wearing history and there's nothing better, awesome. right? Yeah. yeah, of course, yeah. Holly, I'm loving this jacket. It's so rock and roll. Tell me about it. It's a vintage late 1970s, early 1980s leather jacket. Uh, I got it out of um, Cleveland, Ohio. And obviously, you're well known for your vintage. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about your, the, your company. Uh, well, I've been in business now 14 years, and we're based out of Williamsburg, Brooklyn now, inside Artists and Fleet, and we're there every weekend, bringing in around 70 to 80 new pieces every weekend. Wow. So we keep it fresh all the time. In regards to rock and roll, what else do you have other than amazing leather jacket? We have things like that and other pieces, um, like our vintage denim collection could definitely be incorporated into any rock and roll look, um, as well as t-shirts and like pretty 1970s bohemian dresses, but it's really all how you wear it and the attitude. Where do you source your stuff from? All over the country. I travel 50 to 60,000 miles a year. Um, how did you get into the vintage market? Um, I started doing it while I was going to school at FIT, paid my way through FIT, and it just turned itself into a business. Do you love it? I absolutely do. You have to absolutely love this business to stay in this business because it's so much work. I think this show has been going on for over uh, 25 years, 30 years. Costume designers for movies, HBO projects, Netflix, Amazon, they all come here and they um, buy their clothing that they're going to uh, use for all their productions.
That's awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So we're making history as well as selling it. Um, right. We are. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're the roots of the fashion industry.